Hi everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 2. I guess we better go check in on Miranda. Commander, Jack and Miranda are in the middle of a... disagreement? Can you head it off before they tear out a bulkhead? I'll deal with it. Take pictures! Touch me and I will smear the walls with you, bitch! Enough! Stand down, both of you. The cheerleader won't admit what Cerberus did to me was wrong. It wasn't Cerberus. Not really. But clearly you were a mistake. Screw you! You've got no idea what they put me through. Maybe it's time I showed you. Oh, she's such a... She needs to drop this whole victimhood thing. I thought we'd already dealt with that. I really do think that Jack just needs to drop this whole victimhood thing. I agree with her. It was Cerberus. I agree with her what they did to her was wrong. But I don't think squabbling on the ship is going to make any difference to that. I've given her my word. I'll blow up as much of Cerberus as I can. And I meant it. I know Miranda went like that. But this, this isn't going to help anything, is it? This isn't going to change the past. I hope this ends now is look just drop your whole victimhood thing we're here now and we're working as we are now we blew up the facility and that's the end of it my opinion is the one that matters you two keep a deck apart at all times she can't be trusted Shepard she'll jeopardize the whole mission if we survive this you two can tear each other apart until then save your hate for the collectors she'll survive I'll make sure of it then I'll tear you apart myself you two gonna be okay? It's a good thing you came by when you did. As long as she does her job, we'll be fine. Thanks, Shepard. Okay, well that's not exactly helping the situation. Thanks again, Shepard. Taking the time to help me with my sister. I couldn't have reached Ariana in time without your help. I'm glad Niket tried to redeem himself, for what good it did. Thank you for stopping me, Commander. I feel like this is a good time to apologise for the last episode. It, I didn't do a very good job of leading that episode at all. I just, I just didn't know what was going on, honestly. Are you happy about your sister's relocation? She has what I wanted her to have. A normal life and the freedom to choose her own path. And she'll never know me, which is for the best. No chance of me putting her in danger. What's your impression of her? Do you think she's happy? I don't know. Even if I talked with her, I doubt I'd know. I'm too close to her. She's genetically identical to me. She is me for all intents and purposes. I can't look at her life and judge it. I just hope hers is better than mine was. I do understand her reasons not for talking to her. I don't think it is a good idea for the two to talk. It just... It's going to set up everything Miranda... If, it, if anything that raises suspicions in her and she starts tracing all the family and stuff, it's just going to lead her to have the same chip on her shoulder that Miranda has. It's funny, I think of you as all business. Good to see that there's a person under there. The mission's too important to let personal feelings interfere. But thank you, Commander. My sister is safe again thanks in large part to you. I won't forget that. Man, we are totally in there. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Kelly is actually involved with personnel, isn't she? Maybe I should check in with her before I go and give Jack a bollocking.
You had me so worried when you were trapped on the collector ship. Thank goodness for Edie. Oh. I must not have spoken to her for ages. The Normandy crew delivered. Including you. You're too kind. We were there to help, but Edie gets the credit this time. The elusive man made sure Edie was installed for this mission. Now I see why. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? Uh, yeah, what about Jack and Miranda, maybe? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Hmm. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Appreciate the help from Lisbeth Bainham. Dear Commander Shepard, I heard about what you did on Ilium, and I wanted to thank you for helping the survivors of what happened at Zoo's Hope. These people don't have much left, and you dealing with that damn contract helped them a lot. I get sick when I think about what we did to those colonists, what we allowed to happen. Do you feel that way? Do you ever wish you could have avoided killing so many people? We had no choice. I had no choice, but I still wonder. Thank you again. I'm doing what I can. You've helped the survivors get some peace. Sincerely, Elizabeth Bainham. From Admiral Dara Zen de Mo Oh, that's the mon I hate, isn't it? Zen? Shepherd Vast Normandy. I've been digging through the Alarine. I just wanted you to know that I did find a few things from the experiments Rail Zora was conducting. Had you shared them with me, humanity might have reaped the benefits. Instead, once my own experiments are complete, you and your people will watch from a distance as the Quarian people reclaim not just their homeworld, but the largest synthetic army in the galaxy. Rail Zora's death will not have been in vain. I will complete what he started. Cordially, Admiral Darrow Zen Van Mora. I think I'll check in with everybody after I've completed Ilium. Except for Jack, I'm going to do now, of course. Hey. Tell me something I don't know about you. Nothing to tell. Why? Uh, how about what you just said to Miranda? I want to know more, and I'm not going away. I'm here to fight for you. Nothing says we have to be friends, but whatever. Something you don't know, huh? Obvious stuff, like what's up with my ink, or something else just as boring. You're not really interested unless it affects you. I've been through all this shit before. I could be genuine. You have no way of knowing. I have eyes, and I have history. You'll back off. As soon as you realize you're not the first, and I'm immune to your help. I'll bite. What's with the tattoos? Some are for prisons I've been in. Some are for kills. You know, good ones. Some are for things I've lost. Those aren't your business. They're nobody's business. And some are because, hey, why the fuck not? You're tough, but you can't have survived alone all these years. When I was starting out, I ran with this girl, Minara, and her boyfriend. They knew their way around. I thought they'd help me. <sighs> right. They helped me into their bed. And when we finally did take down something big, they helped themselves to my share of the take. I knew where it was heading, and I got him first. Never bothered with friends after that. They sound like selfish pricks. That doesn't mean they were going to kill you. I get feelings. I don't need proof. I did the smart thing. I always do the smart thing if people fuck with me. That's probably something you should remember. I have to go, but we should do this again. Wait. My turn with the questions. People usually walk by now. Why are you really asking all these things? Are you eyeing me up? Because if this is just about sex, maybe you should just fucking say so. Hmm. I like I like it. Straight, you know, straight talking. I'd rather shag Miranda though. She's a lot less scary than Jack. Maybe later. I think this is the maybe later route. I'm gonna try my look with Miranda first, obviously. I'm in no hurry. I want to know what makes you tick first. You don't need to know someone to sleep with them. You just have to know where to put it. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. 
Maybe not. Sounds like I need to talk to Edie as well, since the collectorship mission, so I will clear Edie. Oops, not this Edie. Not that Edie either. So the Collectors were once Protheans, repurposed by the Reapers. What a sad end. Makes you wonder if the Keepers on the Citadel were once something different. Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? No. Let's discuss something else. Ready. Never mind. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. So, Commander, you figure Miranda would ever lighten up a bit and... <laughs> nah, I can't even finish saying it. Yeah, that is the plan, Joker. You have rumbled me. I assume everything is going well up here? Shh, 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 shh. Joker? I can tell when it's listening. I am always listening, Mr. Moreau. I know. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Right then, back to Ilium, and avoiding that corridor. Part of me wants to take Miranda and Jack. I think I'm going to take Miranda and Jack, this could easily go wrong. However, I feel we have to do something to... Now I want to change her appearance first. Yeah, that looks... We'll try that one. Uh, I can cycle her appearance as well. Yeah, I'm going to keep my guns with me at all times here, while I've got these two. Hey, are you okay? You seem touchy. It's not biotic neural itching, is it? I've tried everything. Don't let anyone know, but I had the same thing. Eternagel cleared it right up. Eternagel, because nothing should stop you from embracing eternity. I thought I was listening to a private phone call there. Pardon me, I'm dealing with damn Ilium travel bureaucracy. I apparently can help. Excuse me, but I found a locket with a picture of a human and someone who looks like you. Oh, Stephen. Thank you. Thank you so much. My daughter was young when he died. This is the only memento she has of him. Please accept this. It's much less than I would have had to pay the bureaucrats to authorize a search. Well, that's what you call serendipity. Go. Run away, you bastards. Give up your colony plans. That's it. Lots of money here. Soft people who'd make good victims. This place is one bad day away from becoming Omega. Yeah, it's pretty much already Omega. I agree with you on that, Jack. Right, no, can't go through that door. Where am I going? Go to the... No, that's the one I can't do. Isn't it? Where's this going? Serena in the cargo transfer level downstairs. Oh no, I think that's through the door as well, isn't it? I'll have a look round here, but I don't think... I'm looking for the best tech upgrades you have. Of course, I can help you with the console oh, and figure I out... Oh, I think I've got... I think they're both through this door. That's not good. Hmm. 
What a piece of shit. Um, there isn't a mod to get through it either. What someone needs to do is invent a fast travel mod from one side of that place to here. Yep, I did have to go through that corridor as well. Serena? Who wants to know? Someone who can make your life a living hell. <laughs> Too late. Lyra Tassoni said you'd have information on Thane Krios. Am I wasting my time? Tana, cover for me. Over here. Yeah, I know who Thane Krios is. I might have passed him some information, but I didn't hire him. What do you want to know? I'm going to keep talking rough to her, because she seems to respond quite well to that. Plus, I'm really angry about that stupid corridor. I just need to talk to him. Dangerous man to chat with. Your call, though. I ran security for Nasana Dantius. Then I found out she was having people killed to cover up her dirty secrets. She fired me when I confronted her. Her loss. I might have been good enough to stop Thane from taking her down. If you work there, you must have an idea what his opposition will be. Eclipse Mercs. High-tech killer. Undisciplined, but very well equipped. They don't much care who they kill, as long as they're paid for it. Thane has quite a reception waiting for him. I told him all I knew. He didn't seem worried. Why does that name sound familiar? She was a representative on the Citadel a few years ago. Right. She had me kill her sister, the slaver. I thought that was just a rumor. Well, you know what she's capable of then. She has even more power here in Nos Astra. She uses it to keep her friends in check, and her enemies dead. I wonder if that's one of the side quests I took uh, from the bar underneath the Citadel. So where do I find Thane? The Dantius Towers, penthouse level of Tower 1. There's a second tower, still under construction. If Thane is smart, he'll go in from there. It doesn't sound like Nasana's just gonna let me in. She's as smart as she is paranoid. No one's getting in or out of there without a fight. I can get you in, but you'll only get one shot. You'd better be ready. Oh, but that means I'm gonna have to come through the corridor again to get to the other quest. You're just offering your help? No strings attached? You're going to look for Thane. Nasana's mercenaries will try to stop you. At the least, you'll distract her guards. Take a little fire, give Thane a clear shot. I didn't hire him to kill Nasana, but I won't shed any tears when she gets what's coming to her. Do you know anything else about Thane? Not much. He did say that he's not doing the hit for money. Nobody hired him. I wanted to know who I was helping, and he said he's doing this job on his own. That he had to restore the balance of his life. I don't know. Maybe he's crazy. If he takes down Nasana, I don't care why he does it. Everyone involved in this is super suspicious. The receptionist is super suspicious, Thane is super suspicious, and Nasana is very suspicious as well. All three of them. The whole thing stinks. Let's go then. Good. I'm tired of this crap. We'll go tonight as soon as the shift workers clear out of Tower 2. Oh yeah, I was taking Jack, but they just didn't have any banter, so I'll drop it for now. I've obviously got to do something else to trigger the next bit. The towers are heavily guarded and you'll find more resistance closer to the penthouse. So, this assassin, you planning to stop him? I'm just here to make sure he survives. Hmm. There they are, the Dantius Towers. You'll have to get up to the second tower and cross the bridge to the penthouse. Her mercs will fight you every step, but it's your best chance. We might find him before it goes that far. Maybe. At least you'll know where he's headed. Any last minute tips about the towers? The Eclipse Mercs will be well fortified by now, and they won't want to disappoint Nasana. There's no automated defenses or traps, just focus on anything moving. Alright. Let's do this. Hold on. 
too long they'll be here to greet you soon enough good luck Shepard Okay, I'm going to admit I'm again confused, but I'm going to not look this up. So let's start from scratch. Find Cape Thane Krios. Travel to Ilium in the Tassail system of the Crescent Nebula. Talk to Liara Tassoni, Nos Astra's best informant at her office overlooking the trading floor. Talk to Serena in the cargo transfer level downstairs. Find a way to the top of Dantius Tower 2 in order to reach Nasana. Nasana is who is. Thane is trying to assassinate, but I'm killing her guards. No, I'm going to be honest. I. I still find the whole setup very suspicious, but it doesn't entirely make sense to me. I guess I'm going to have the choice of whether or not I want to stop the hit, but I don't really remember who Nasana is. That is definitely a theme of our LP through Ilium, isn't it? Me not knowing what I'm doing. I mean, part of that is just because I saved it to last, isn't it? And so some of it I've just straight up forgotten. Because it was quite a while ago, both in game and in the LP and in real life for me. Help! He's still alive. I can't feel my legs. My chest is killing me. Um, who shot you and why? Who attacked you? We're just night workers. Nasana sent them after us. She sent the mechs to round us up, but we didn't hear. They just started shooting. Why? They just attacked you? Yes. They were too slow. It was horrible. Everyone screaming. The mechs said there was no time. Nasana wanted us out of the way. Immediately. Then... <coughs> the dogs... <coughs> He's not going to make it if we don't help him. Here. That should ease the pain and keep you alive until help arrives. Thank you. That helps. Take your time. I think I'm better. Find the other workers. Help them. Why would Nasana kill her own workers? To her, we're expendable. But I didn't realize she was that ruthless. My friends, co-workers, slaughtered. They were jumping off ledges to escape the dogs. Any idea how many mercs Nasana's got? A lot. Dozens of them are wandering around here all day. You'll find more the further up you go. I need to get up to the penthouse. Any suggestions? Take the service elevator to the upper floors. The bridge between the towers isn't finished, but if you're careful, watch out for the mercs. They're everywhere. Okay, maybe I'm not supposed to know a huge amount about this then. Seems like Nasana's a baddie, doesn't it? You Killing a worker. I mean, we Thank don't. You. We haven't found the eclipse. I won't forget this. Involved in anything good so far? I think it's reasonable to assume any friend of the eclipse is bad.
are you going to get that one? There's a hell of a lot of mercenaries just to mow down some workers or whatever idea you're supposed to have them for. This woman Nasana is obviously a baddie. Just wish I could remember her. But not only even if I had played the straight hey, after. I think he went in here. We'll go get him. You go. Get your ass in there, and Nasana's not paying you to stand around. Fine. But I uh... Even if I had this played, sorry, I didn't try that again. Even if I had this played directly after Mass Effect 1, I probably still would remember half these characters. Confident there. I feel like I missed a room out down here somewhere. Firing a high impact shot!
I guess that was just uh, a different way in the fourth. Tell you what, there, there are a hell of a lot of mercs. So shoot, this one must be loaded. That's enough. We're a little exposed out here, especially if anyone's in that elevator. We should find cover quickly. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to leave the power cells until last, obviously. Oh, is it changed? Oh, it's goddamn changed it. No, I don't want this piece of crap. Right, straight up, this is a disaster. where the assassin is and I might let you live. If I knew that, I wouldn't be wasting my time talking to you. You're not one of Nasana's mercs. Who are you? You've got two ways down. Express or coach. Your choice. Look, pal. Even if I knew where he was, I wouldn't tell you. Not the answer I was looking for. I've got nothing more to say to you. If you shoot me, my team... How about goodbye? Harsh, but I guess he had it coming. Yes, I don't really understand how that helped me. But it was fun. The storage disk holds a list of genetic information for the Carosa family. I don't really know how that helps me either. get some more information about why they were killing the workers and stuff from that man. I 
doesn't even look to be very accurate, does it? Well, at least I can top up my heavy weapon. I might need to rely on that quite a lot. I'm afraid your men aren't able to respond, Miss Ellen. Ho, ho, ho. Now I have a machine gun. Although it's really terrible. I wish I had my old one. This should punch through their armor. This should slow him down. I think this is more accurate than that sniper rifle. Deploying warfare! Right game, don't ever, ever do that to me again. This is it, right? Please tell me this is it. Good. Forget the explosives, he's already passed! <laughs> Locker to hand off all my abilities. This is valuable. We're compromised. I don't care what you do. No one is across that bridge. Firing up. Yes. That is failure. Man, I've lost my ability to shoot. Again. There we go. <sighs> Oh, yeah, it's blowing my mouse around. That probably doesn't help.
wonder if I can actually kill them. I'm guessing probably not. No, they've just got two automated rocket launchers aimed at the bridge. Come on. What the hell am I killing you for? I'll tear you apart. Jeez, you think you clipped that in a fair game? Fuck's sake, I'm trying to take some fucking cover. Oh, I can't take cover behind that one. This fucking control and cover system is shit. It really is. I'm sorry. It just sucks. I'll tear you apart. I don't know why you can't take cover on that side. It doesn't make sense to me. Let's finish this. Look, she can shoot me over the top, but I couldn't shoot her over the top. Stay down. Let's go. I lost shields. I think that's only because I have a good build there. No, he's not even running in the right direction. My God, that pissed me off. Yeah, you might have noticed that. Shepard, but you're dead. I got better. And now you're here to kill me. I don't... I don't know what you're doing, or who you are. I don't know. I wonder if you meant to know. You really are paranoid, aren't you? Don't patronize me, Shepard. Charming as ever. I'm sure you find this all very ironic. First you take care of my sister, and now you're here for me. Well, you made it this far. Now what? No, you are so full of yourself, I don't even remember who you are. I wouldn't waste time hunting you down, Nisana. What do you call this? You've practically destroyed my towers. I wasn't looking for you. What the hell are you talking about? Is it credits? Is that what you want? Just tell me your price. We can make this problem go away. Um, I'd also like to say that you were the one with the rocket launcher, not me. Make me an offer. Double whatever you're getting. And I'll pay double again if you tell me who hired you. What? I heard something. Damn it. Check the other entrances. You stay put. When I'm finished dealing with this nuisance, you and I are going to... You certainly know how to make an entrance. I was hoping to talk to you. I apologize, but prayers for the wicked must not be forsaken. She certainly was wicked. Probably not for her. For me. The measure of an individual can be difficult to discern by actions alone. Take you, for instance. All this destruction, chaos. I was curious to see how far you'd go to find me. Well, here I am. I think he might just be pulling this on us, you know, pretending to be so smart. You know, he's acting all like he knew this was going to happen. But I don't think he did. How did you know I was coming at all? 
I didn't. Not until you marched in the front door and started shooting. Nasana had become paranoid. You saw the strength of her guard force. She believed one of her sisters would kill her. You were a valuable distraction. Let's see, who's the bastard? Thane or Nasana? I'm not sure either of them are a bastard. I don't really, I'm still not 100% sure what Nasana was up to here. Let's cut to the chase. I need you for a mission. Indeed. You're familiar with the Collectors? By reputation. They're abducting entire human colonies. Freedom's Progress was their handiwork. I see. We're going after them. Attacking the Collectors would require passing through the Omega-4 Relay. No ship has ever returned from doing so. My ship will be the first. You'd like me to protect humans I've never met, from aliens no one knows anything about, by going to a place no one's ever returned from? That's the gist of it. This was to be my last job. I'm dying. Low survival odds don't concern me. The abduction of your colonists does. What, really? Why? Not to look a gift assassin in the mouth, but why are human colonists a concern to you? They are innocent, yes? Like all victims of the Collectors. The universe is a dark place. I'm trying to make it brighter before I die. Many innocents died today. I wasn't fast enough and they suffered. I must atone for that. I will work for you, Shepard. No charge. Hopefully you can explain why. Why she was killing those people. All I can think is she was super paranoid. And that's why she started killing the, the workers. It, that's all I can think. Anyway, we recruited Thane Cryos for the team, but medically questionable unless mission is resolved quickly. Legal representatives dealing with the public to damage to Dantius Towers. We got the Viper Sniper Rifle, which sucks. Some machine and damage which is of no consequence to me whatsoever. But I'm glad we got this guy. He's clearly quite good. He's clearly another stealthy killer, which I'm quite happy with. But I'm, I don't know how much of that was me being bad at the LP and how much was you're not supposed to know. Either way, this has been just as messy an episode as the last one. I've heard impressive stories, Krios. Sounds like you'll be an asset to the team. That is, if you're comfortable having an assassin watch your back. I've accepted a contract. My arm is Shepard's. Uh-huh. Don't know about you, but I'm loyal to more than my next paycheck. Um, yeah, have you seen... Have you ever met Jack, Jacob? You, you ever seen her down in the basement? I've got to say, you're quite a bland character as well. And I don't really trust you all that much. I'm not... I think this is completely uncalled for. Obviously he is too. He's doing this mission gratis. What's your concern? I don't like mercenaries. An assassin is just a precise mercenary. An assassin is a weapon. A weapon doesn't choose to kill. The one who wields it does. Where shall I put my things? I'd prefer someplace dry if anything is available. The area near the life support plant on the crew deck tends to be slightly more arid than the rest of the ship. Ah, an AI. My thanks. He seems quite civil. I know. He seems quite intellectual, philosophical. 
I trust him a lot, actually. And I don't trust Cerberus. I trust Thane way more than Cerberus, the elusive man, Edie, Jacob and Miranda, and everyone else that's ever worked for Cerberus. We need all the help we can get. He's not what I expected in an assassin. He may surprise you. Yeah, and he may not. <laughs> 